Hi, welcome back to the channel and uh, thanks for joining me. So a really uh, exciting video to make today. Um, basically, this is kind of a news and a review. I was really fortunate to be able to get preview, uh, pre-release review copies of this. I don't know if we can see here, yellow Master Dape Edition, Stella Real One. And hang on, real two. So, what's all this about? And you might be wondering. Sound. Das betrifft natürlich vor allem Boris. Der zeichnet sich aus dadurch, dass der Meister der Klangwelten sich immer wieder neu erfindet. Die Maschinen sind eben so gebaut, dass die wie ein Uhrwerk funktionieren und das über Jahrzehnte. Musik ist tatsächlich Geschmackssache, die Klangqualität überhaupt nicht. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty damn cool. So, you know, throughout this year and next year, just going into the beginning of 26, the yellow are actually going to be releasing um, master tape editions of five of their albums. Uh, and the first one, Stella, here, and this is uh, here's the cover sort of uh, image. These are all inserts that you'll get in the master tape packaging. And um, I will just go on and talk about the various issues in a moment. But basically, first release is Stella, which... Um, officially goes on sale i think uh, uh the launch is at axpona it is in uh, room 428 which is pro audio and you'll be able to buy copies of these to take away with you at a very significant discount and i'll get onto that in a moment and the uh the european kind of launch will be at the high-end uh, show in munich in hall four stand t08 horch house will be uh it will be there with um, with both the tapes and the machine, which you just saw in that little promo video. And also Boris Blank will be there on the, on the Saturday uh, between 10 a.m. and midday. So a really, really, really cool excuse to uh, to, to go to, to Munich and, and visit the Horch House stand without any shadow of doubt. Um, I mean, as, as anyone knows, anyone in the hi-fi industry knows throughout the 80s, Yellow were, were one of the most popular um, bands to play at hi-fi shows for, for one reason, one reason alone really, is they just sound phenomenal. I think Boris Blank is, is uh, you've got well, Boris and Dieta. Uh, Dieta's the, the, the vocalist and, and kind of, uh, I think they're both, uh, you would describe as artists in my opinion, not what you would normally constrain in the sort of the normal worlds of musical artistry um kind of think outside the box and and basically worked in the world of sampling and rearranging um sort of found objects found sounds if you like to create incredible wonderful gorgeous um soundscapes and in in that respect listening to a yellow album is very much like um being in a you know to me in a sort of sci-fi sci epic movie Think about Blade Runner or something like that. If you can imagine an audio only version of Blade Runner or Dune, um, that to me is yellow, uh, yellow's music. And it's, it sounds astonishing. And for that reason, all through the eighties, we were using uh, in the hi-fi industry, we were using um, uh, yellow's music to, I mean, both Stella, Flag uh, and Baby, I think were the three albums that were 
you know, particularly used as demo material. Um, oh Yeah is a track off of Stella, uh, which I'm sure most of you will be familiar with, and The Race, which was just like monumentally popular um, off of the album Flag. Now, to make these, what they do is they go back to the original master tape. And whilst these are sort of created from found sounds, it's they're, they're kind of analog constructs. And, and they were like sort of analog artists working in the analog domain with mixing desks and the like. It wasn't all done on computer. Um, and here's, a, here's an image of the um, original master for Stella. And basically this was copied and these are sold. This is it. This is it. They, they are they're, they're devoid of the restrictions, compression, limiting, and all those sorts of things which which uh, were, were were added to make them you know more effective for radio play or, or suitable for LP cutting. All those kinds of things. These are the absolute original artworks, if you like. And I want to talk a little bit more about the music of this and the listening because. You know, the whole point of me getting these early was to be able to have a listen to them and, 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 and talk about it. And I, I just want to talk about a, a couple of tracks because the overall thing is just, it is astonishing. The size and scale and majesty of the sound is phenomenal. So, Stalag Drama, I think it's the penultimate track on, on um, side one. And it really, really, really feels like a sci-fi epic. It's very Pink Floyd-esque, if you like. Um, sort of gothic horror movie, Pink Floyd. Think of these things. But it's it's mind-blowing. It's massive. It's dramatic. It's, it's, it's just... It's passionate. But it's also, you know, there is this huge tongue-in-cheek funness to it. I mean, to make audio sci-fi gothic drama movies is just, um, you know, it's it's an art form, it really is. And and I just absolutely love it. Um, and, and then another one to give you a, to give you a, you know, a, a taste is on, is on Reel 2. Um, and again, actually, is the penultimate track on Reel 2. Uh, Seal Ouvert, which is, uh, which translates as Open Sky. And again, it's just, oh, I, what can I say? It's, it's massive. You will not have heard anything coming out of your speakers that creates such a massive, homogenous, convincing, all-encompassing sound stage, a landscape, a world. You know, it's like a you know an, another. It really is like, um, like I say, Dune or, or Blade Runner or something like that, where you're thrown into another world, but so utterly and completely ensconced within it, um, you know, pulled in, it, it takes over. It, it's, and, and you know, it's, let's say the album's 40 minutes long. It's just, you know, the suspension of disbelief, if you like, you know, all these things we talk about in art um, come into play here. And it's, um, it's just redefining, I think, the boundaries of music. And for me, it's doing it more so than like other early kind of electronic musical pioneers like Kraftwerk are doing. This is, this is taking something and it's, yes, it has got those, you know, those, those thundering beats that, that, that make it kind of, you know, very compelling as a dance music, but it's, it's, it's more than that. I, I really do think it's more than that. It is like a real majestic painting. Um, it's, it's a, you know, wonderful composition, piece of art. And yeah, I mean, in, in the Seal Ouvert, you've got this massive sound, there's, there's helicopters running around, there's a choir, it's, it's just, it is, it's phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. This will, you know, it, it's, it'll give you more bass weight, slam, texture, detail, more of an expansive, swirling, three-dimensional, you know, you can, you can see the, horizon of the landscape that you're in almost it, it's that's that's how the sound stage is presented it's it is like looking at into space um absolutely incredible absolutely incredible um 100 it you will not be disappointed now i want to talk about 
the three versions of this that are available. So first of all, there is going to be a very limited, in fact, it's limited to just 10 copies. Um, and I think they call it the Tube Master version. 10 copies are, are, are made from vintage tube electronics. And these are personally listened to, signed off, authentic, you know, um, authenticated, but signed off by, by Boris. And, you know, he says they sound amazing and the best he's ever heard it. And of course, you could imagine that. These are going to be sold for, I think it's around about £1,500. But better remember, these are real, very exclusive, handmade, one at a time, collector's items. Uh, handmade in Switzerland, the copies will be. And then there are two kind of, you know, mass market releases. And these will be manufactured by Horch House, and that's what I've got here. There's going to be two versions of this. The... Uh, studio master tape edition which will be on two reels like this of um sm 900 tape which is the top quality tape and then there will be the standard master copy which will come on one reel of recording the masters lpr 90 which is a long play version of the same tape uh, but the, the difference being that this comes on one reel so that's the standard the studio is above that um and then there's the uh the very exclusive one which will be at the same level as the studio but again recorded on these vintage machines uh one at a time so those are the three versions now i can give you an idea of costs of those so the standard master coming on one reel is 400 euros excluding vat the Studio Master, which comes on the two reels like this, is going to be 550 euros, excluding VAT. And then the very exclusive handmade one at a time, hand numbered, hand signed by uh, Boris and Dieter, that's going to be around about 1500 euros. And then of course, by no means the least interesting thing of this, as you will have seen in the little video at the start there, there is a machine, the Revox B77 Mark II Yellow Edition. And this is uh, manufactured by Revox. Uh, so it is a brand new machine, fully guaranteed. Um, and it's it's uniquely styled for the yellow project. The, the, the digital display, for example, which is um, you know in yellow and spells yellow, when you turn it on and, and you know it's just an extremely exclusive extremely cool thing i mean the original b77 mark ii didn't even have a digital display and uh i believe this is going to be selling for about fifteen thousand euros it's around about that kind of money and i believe if you go to yellow.com you will find links to the you know the very limited reels to the machine uh, and to the Horch House copies. But you may want to chew, uh, check out the Horch House website too, where I, I, I believe you'll be buy, you can buy the, the two, uh, the standard master copy edition and the studio master copy edition. Um, and I think there will be also information on the Revox website. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the first, this is the first of five yellow albums to come. Uh, obviously it's the only one I've heard and I can all I can say about the sound is it is staggering. I've never heard a just you know it is it is not like listening to a record. It's it is just you are completely and utterly um sucked in and, and become sort of involved in the in the world, in the yellow world, in Boris and Dieter's imagination. And believe me, that is a very 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 fabulous thing indeed so on that note i'll say thank you for watching cheerio and i'll look forward to seeing you all again soon bye for now bye